Alright guys, being as I'm going to be doing a series on device programmers, I thought maybe it would be appropriate to show off some UV EEPROM erasers as well, because those kind of go hand in hand. This is a Data Race 2. Um, I don't know anything about Data Race 1, or if there even was one that was released, but apparently this is the sequel to something, and it's not very big. Um, this is, uh, these are, um, these are 40 pin EEPROMs in here, so that kind of gives you a, a reference size. And as far as controls, um, it's blank all around until you get to this one end. And, uh, don't mind the spots on here, it's, somebody painted this or something weird, I don't know. But, it was free, so, what can you say? So this has um, uh, 12 volt DC 1 amp coming in and there's this, it's hard to even see in there, but there's a little potentiometer and you can set it all the way to the bottom left for two minutes and all the way to the bottom right for eight minutes and what that time is, is how long this thing will run until it beeps and it shuts itself off. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, I never make a practice of leaving something, leaving a, a EEPROM eraser unattended anyways, so a timer is kind of irrelevant to me, but uh, I don't know, I suppose if you're busy and you need a warning to let you know what's going on, that's kind of helpful. And it's kind of funny because the, there's a little light pipe in here that shows you that um, the UV light inside is actually working. That's not an LED, that's just a little light pipe from the from the inside. And um, as a test, what I did was I programmed um, these four uh, four megabit EEPROMs. I'm going to flop these down. And um, I wanted to see what the um, overall time was to erase them and I also wanted to see what the consistency was like depending on which slot these were in because one the um, these two outers are circular instead of um, uh, squarish um, as the center ones are and um, also I'm going to turn this on it's looking through the camera so it's not going to hurt anything um, you can see it's definitely not as bright on those outer holes there and I wanted to see what that translated to time-wise. And so I set this for the that um, eight minute setting and um, I let those run and the results were this. The center two, um, these were done after eight minutes after um, sitting in there and then um, I ran it again another two minutes with these two, the outer two, and after that additional two minutes, this guy was finally blank. This guy was not. I ran it another two minutes, and this guy was finally blank. So it seems that this innermost one, the one closest to the power supply, seems to be the weakest. Now, um, this bulb, I doubt it's ever been replaced. I don't actually know anything about the lifetime of these UV bulbs. It's possible that um, it could be swapped out for a new one and be uh, way more effective. I don't know. Um, but I do know for certain after opening this thing up, it's very cheaply made. So it kind of makes me laugh when I look on eBay and I see these for like forty or fifty dollars because I've seen the inside and it's definitely not a forty or fifty dollar unit I mean they may have cost that much retail but um, the quality of, of the build inside isn't isn't all that great um, I did recap uh, the circuit board in this and um, there's only four capacitors I think there was like two one mics and uh, two ten mics or something like that but if you want to get one of these and you want to recap it, I would recommend um, opening it up and looking at the size of those caps first because they're actually really small. And the ones that I just had laying around, um, the electrolytic capacitors I had, um, were actually far too big to fit into um, this uh, this vertical height here because the, the circuit board's right in the middle 
and then you've only got that much height to work with. And so I ended up just putting capacitors soldered to the bottom of the circuit board laid down, and it fits fine that way, but um, it's just not the way that it was originally. Um, this bulb is um, actually soldered. There's wires um, soldered to the to the main driver board. So like I said, it's just kind of a, I don't know, not the highest quality inside, but it works fine. So at the end of the day, I mean, I think that's what most people want. I guess all that to say, don't pay very much for it. I, I would, if it were me buying one, I would say 20 bucks is fair. Um, but I, I wouldn't pay much, much more than that. Um, and this supply, this came free with a programmer that I bought and it didn't even have a supply. I was able to snag this supply um, at a thrift store for like a couple bucks. So, um, yeah, that's an okay unit. Um, I will definitely be covering some more favorable UV erasers. I have some that I love and I use a lot. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd start covering a variety of these because there's a lot of different ones out there. And um, yeah, that's it.